Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about the interoperability with the Zoiper soft phone and the Vodia PBX. Start out um, just by what is Vodia PBX. Uh, a lot of you probably know all this, but uh, we're just going to run through it. Um, Web-based software PBX that works and integrates with all the popular IP phones as well as soft phones and SIP trunk providers. We support both single tenant and multi-tenant deployments. We have our own uh, API integration. Uh, it's a multi-OS platform. Uh, we'll work on Windows and Linux, um, on-premises or cloud. So we've got uh, both both versions there. It's secure and reliable. We're based in Boston, Massachusetts, and everything was developed in-house from the ground up. So by us. Next question is, what is Zoiper? Zoiper is a cloud-based soft phone solution. It caters to service providers, call centers, uh, VoIP integrators, mobile operators, businesses, any businesses that require soft phones independent of their service provider. And together with uh, Zoiper now, the Vodio PBX can provision on the Zoiper soft phone using QR code provisioning. That's something we're going to talk about uh, in this slide presentation. The benefits of using a soft phone, uh, there are many of them, uh, but just to name a few, it does connect traveling employees. Um, this is free on our multi-tenant edition, so you can get that soft phone on no charge and use it on the multi-tenant edition. Uh, it empowers your mobile workforce fo uh, as well as enabling resource efficiency, uh, enhances collaboration, boosts productivity, lower maintenance, less disruption, and this will work on Apple, uh, Windows, and Android. And it's going to save you some money. You don't have to buy an actual physical phone. You can do everything through the soft phone. Like I mentioned, this is available on the Vodia Multi-Tenant Edition and just some of the benefits of the Multi-Tenant Edition. Uh, you can centrally host one instance with many domains in the cloud or premises. Um, what we mean by that is basically you have one instance of the PBX and within that PBX you can create domains and these domains will become your tenants. So you only have one instance of the PBX running but you can have multiple tenants and we call them domains. That's how they're created within the PBX. Uh, on just that one instance of the, of the PBX. Uh, in this case, with the Zoiper soft phone, the QR provisioning is going to be sent to the subscriber's email, and we'll go through that. Uh, easily convert your customers to subscribers uh, with the hosted edition. And uh, it's built in uh, remote provisioning, uh, including the Zoiper QR link per extension. So we'll, we'll talk about that as well. Easy provisioning for remote users. Uh, we do support white labeling the PBX. You can create bundles with, with phones and trunks from your preferred providers. You've got integrated billing through Stripe. And it's bring your own trunks and bring your own phones. Prerequisites here, an SMTP account. Now, this is something that you possibly have already created uh, in your system. Uh, the SMTP account is so that the system, the PBX, can send emails out. So that may be used for email notifications. In this case, we want it to be able to send an email out to those extensions with that QR code. Uh, so you do need extensions. Uh, smartphone or desktop computer, you can do it both ways. Uh, you need to download the Zoiper soft phone, and the one we're using is the Zoiper IAX SIP VoIP soft phone or the premium version. So it needs to be one of those for this to work properly. Configuring the SMTP server in the system, again, a lot of you have probably already done this, um, but it can be configured, the PBX, as an email client to send email messages to the users, and this is what makes it possible for Vodia to send that QR code to your subscribers. It's a short example here, um, just where you're going to put in the from address, the account, the server, uh, what you're doing with encryption, are you checking the certificates, and the domain name. So it's pretty basic setting it up, but obviously this has to be done in order to send that email out. Setting up the uh, remote provisioning with Zoiper. So you're going to log into your Vodia, um, and in the admin level, so you're at the top level there, uh, you're going to scroll down to Phones and Settings, and then under uh, Provisioning Server Redirection, you'll see that in Phones and Settings, uh, you're going to go ahead and add your public IP address. So again, this works on the hosted uh, edition. So you've got a public IP that that's hosted on. That's what you're going to put in there. Also under the provisioning server redirection, so you're still in the admin system level, 
you're going to navigate to the Zoiper settings. You'll see a few different phones in there. Go to Zoiper and turn on both of those. You're going to turn on Enable Zoiper Provisioning and turn on Include Install URL. Set password and URL is sent to email and clear text. So make sure those are both turned on. Then you're going to navigate to the uh, domain level. So you're going to go into one of your domains. You're going to choose an extension. Uh, once you've chosen the extension, you're going to click on provisioning up here and navigate to the provisioning parameters and click on that button that says email QR code. So now you're in the extension itself and you're just telling it to go ahead and email the QR code. Customer is going to receive an email with a QR code that will be used to provision the account on the Zoipersoft phone. Uh, if you are running a desktop only, you can click on the URL, the Zoiper desktop URL, and follow the steps uh, and choose the free Zoiper edition. Uh, but if you're doing this on the phone, you're able to go ahead and uh, scan that, that code, uh, and that'll uh, provision it for you. And this slide here is possibly one of the only slides we needed, because uh, this kind of just puts it all in a nutshell for you. Uh, you're going to need to download the app um, in order to scan the, the QR code, and when it's complete, you'll click on that login with a QR. So basically, here's the download. You're downloading this particular Zoiper phone. You're going to go ahead and agree to the general terms. Then when you're logging in, uh, instead of putting in username and password, you just say login with a QR. And when it asks you whether you want to optimize the battery uh, usage, you're going to go ahead, or to not optimize the battery usage, you'll, you'll click yes. Um, and this way, the Zoiper can run in the background for you. And a couple of things uh, with some, some new hardware we've got out there we wanted to let you know about the Vodia IO. Uh, this is a device that contains a router uh, with DSL, fiber, Wi-Fi, DECT, the PBX, Bluetooth, and a lot of other features as well. Addresses all kinds of businesses from shops and restaurants to lawyers, clinics, small offices. Most of the connected phones will be DECT. This is not available in the U.S. Um, before fall, um, so we're hoping by the end of the year it will be available, but it is currently available in Europe and APAC. And then the Vodia IOP. Uh, the IOP is available in America. Um, the device, uh, it contains only the PBX, so not a, not a router and DSL and all that. Uh, connects through Ethernet. Uh, can run on any of the uh, CPE licenses. We recommend not going higher than the 16 concurrent calls. In fact, if you're recording, probably the 8 concurrent calls is going to be the highest license you're going to want to put in there. But it does have a 64 gig um, SD drive, um, and that makes recording possible. In fact, you can do up to 10,000 hours of recording on that drive. Uh, the cost for that is $199, and uh, again, that is available today. And that's what we got for you. Um, like I said, this is going to be uh, pretty quick, uh, pretty simple. Hopefully it was uh, simple for you all. Um, and if anybody has any questions, we're going to ask that you use the chat and go ahead and uh, ask your questions there. Uh, thank you for joining us today, and uh, hopefully this was beneficial to you. Everything here will be uh, posted on YouTube as well so that you'll have the slides and this actual presentation.